meant for an adult audience. Love, love, love line may contain sexually oriented content. Sexually oriented content. Mm, listener discretion is advised. Love line with Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Love Line. I'm Adam Carolla. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number one eight hundred L O V E one nine one. Our guest tonight, David Allen Creer. Dad. Good evening. <laughs> it's Adam Carolla Day. It's Adam Carolla Day. So throw your cares away. It's Adam Day. Hey, hey. Yeah. Is it your birthday today? Yes, it is. It's your birthday. Stick your butt out. It's your birthday. <laughs> Stick your butt out. Go, Adam. It's your birthday. Hey, how old are you? Must be this. 30. 21. 21 years old. He's 21 years old. He's 20. Yeah, yeah. Quiet down, Virginia. Let me say. Let me say what happened. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Go, Adam. It's your birthday. It's your B. Cause you're beautiful. It's I. Cause you're intelligent. It's Aura. Cause you're remarkable. It's T. Yeah. Cause you're Tasmanian. It's H. Cause you manly. It's D. Cause you're delightful. It's A. Cause you Aloysius. Why? Cause we love the Adam. Next caller. Man, I tell you what. Yeah, Dex. Yeah. So great to be back in here, Adam. I'll tell you, Dex. Great to see you, buddy. Oh, my God. Do I have stuff to tell you about? It's Two Wheel Tuesday. Dex, dear, dear friend. Network. Dear, dear friend, by the way. Yeah, dear, 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 Last night, we didn't know we were going to have one tonight. Yes. And I said, uh, well, it's my birthday. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to round up some CDs. I'm going to bring in some music I want to hear. We'll make it Adam night. We don't yeah, have good. a guest. We'll, have, we'll do our thing. <laughs> then Ann called, left a message for me, and said, uh, Dag's coming in tonight. And Absolute I thought, scrutiny. well, I still should bring in those CDs. And I thought, no, nope, that jackass is going to be singing the entire <laughs> <No>. night. <laughs> <laughs> How right you are. <laughs> Somebody's oh been drinking or smoking God. in this room. Who's it? I have been both. Yeah. <laughs> I got some uh, some rain energy drinks here, as always. Yeah. We have a Siggy Butt. Yeah, a what is glass that? glass of a cab. Wait, I was you, sitting at home. You're huh? out drinking tonight? No, I just smoked a, a little cigar. Of, yeah, I was sitting at home watching the Mavs get beat. Yeah, is that good? Is that all right with you? No, it was no. horrible. I have no one to. Re- well, the Nets. I hope the Nets really bring it home. Now, what what's going on with uh, tonight? What are you, are you plugging anything? Well, you got you know, uh, something on Tuesday nine I'm o'clock. Really, uh, I'm really not doing anything. Of course, I'm on Life with Bonnie. We sure. Switch to Fridays. Of course. I have my special that's like out that on Comedy Central. Yeah. Uh, I got the midget movie that's coming out with the wee ones, the little peoples. When is that coming out? Uh, God only knows. They're in a fight now. The uh, director hates the cut that the other people did, and they're fighting over it. Oh, man. They just did another indie movie. What is the wee people? What is the, the wee thing? ones? The wee ones. Bridge the Midge. She's a very famous X-rated. Really? Yeah, uh-huh. wee, wee little person, Matthew uh-huh. McConaughey. A lot of uh, exciting people. I hosted the Young Hollywood Awards show. Uh, mm. too. That'll be on June 2nd. Yeah, that's right. How'd that's that the, go? Well, that's really the Oscars for the oh, yeah. uh, kids coming up the next generation. You know how I like the young girls. And, uh, yeah. yeah. I was just like uh, in Disneyland there. Yeah, you're single, right? Oh, God, I am. You making the rounds? You doing uh, Remember last time he was cool up down. here? Remember last time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I cooled out. Shape. I cooled you out. You're in bad out. shape. But I'm in dude. such good Woo. shape now. I'm so healthy. <laughs> He's loaded now, though. No, I'm not. That's right. He's drowned his sorrows. That's all right. I'm not. I'm very, You're looking good, buddy. Thank you. We got to hang. a little bit. We got to hang out. Now, what happened? What house did you sell? We got to hang. I got a new house. He's got another one. Three? I'm working on this it. This the wifey house? I'm sell. I'm, I'm going to uh, rent one of them out. Not the party house. <clears throat> no, party house stays. The hill house. Yeah, he rent that one out. Yeah. Rent Don't worry, Dang. Yeah. We got a place to hang. Woo! I was yeah. hanging out with your friend Daniel. Mm-hmm. He is my god, my hero. Daniel is the executive oh. produ- producer of uh, so Jimmy's show. What his body can withstand. Yeah, <laughs> I can't one. believe. Just the bar bill alone was yeah. uh, amazing. <laughs> this chick was stripping uh, at 40 Deuce, and she kicked me right in my face. <laughs> Why? Because she, like, she was like, you know, we, we came in with this set of twins. Oh, friends, the Juggy the, Twins? The Juggy Twins. Yeah. And she was doing her high karate sidekick going, what? around my head. I was like, oh, that's real. Oh, God. <laughs> I was out. And her mom was like, my daughter. Mom. God bless her. 
God Kellison hanging and with the, the Dagster. Yeah. yeah, and I talked I talked to the twins' mom, and I was like, God bless you for letting these two beautiful. Are these the basketball players? Knuckle yeah. heads come out of your Twinkie hole. Yeah, <laughs> you. you said those were the words. Reverend. Yeah, I did. I know, she, no doubt. I heard she got sick a little later. All right, we we got to. Uh, well, when day. one twin vomits, the other one does too. Oh, That's if not, they works. feel it. They feel it. Sympathetic esophagus, they call it. Mm-hmm. it let's save some babies. <laughs> Bernadette. Yeah. You're 15. Yes, I am. What's up? Oh. Well, first of all, I want to say happy, happy birthday to you, Adam. Thank you. Well, where's the pie? Thank you. Adam. We'll be getting Cake. into the pie. Don't worry. Cake. Cake. Pie. Oh, pie. Adam. I oh, Adam. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Pie. <laughs> Listen here, brother man. you got to eat some of that pie. <laughs> birthday pie? Yeah, birthday pie. You well, got a problem with that? No, it's your day. You That's know, right. Whatever. That's right. I know you want some of that nasty pan lard filled <laughs> crap that they <laughs> get at Ralph's. This hey, is does good your stuff. wife have any little whore friends she's trying to dump on me? Yeah, we can work some out. Bless. I only Ooh. want the loose ones. Mm. I don't have a lot of time. You know. mm. All right, Bernadette, what's up? You're dying fast. You're right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what's up? You're 15. What's going on? All right, well, let's just say, Adam, that yeah, I hope you have the greatest birthday. And I have a present for you if I can send it to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I blood, sweat, and tears record, so. I can send it to the studio if you What was it? A blood, sweat, and tears record. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Nice. That's a blood sample. She yeah, said, so I have a blood sample. I'm going to send you. Sucking something. Yeah. yeah, send it out here. I will. All right, what's up? Do you have a question? Yes, I do. Go ahead. All right, um, I go to an all-girls Catholic school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And my mother has lately been dressing incredibly promiscuously. Mm. And we're having a mother-daughter luncheon in a couple of weeks. I don't know what to do because I've mentioned it to her, and she gets so touchy that she punished me for mentioning it. So you How think she... she's going to show up dressed like little Kim? At the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, she came to school like that to pick me up once. I like Really? Nice. Just How does pasty she puni- in a st- one single strap dress? How or? does she punish you? Um, she didn't let me watch TV. <laughs> Exactly how does she dress? What does she describe one of her outfits? Um, uh, today she wore like it was so embarrassing. Oh my yes. god. Yes, so Alright, it was this black tank top except it was like a half an inch above the nipple. No. Okay. And mm-hmm. instead of having a halter top, it had like five black straps uh-huh. on each side. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Keep going, keep going. And nice. she had like these kind of like booty shorts on. Booty, booty shorts, okay. Yeah. How old is she? 41. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, oh. No, no, I'm yeah. still there. Keep going. <laughs> Dave dropped off, but I'm going. Keep going. <laughs> All right, but really, if she'd said 19, you would have fallen off, too. You got to get. Uh, I know. Well, 25 is my car. Right, so, so, what if. Um, hmm. It, it's uh, always unfortunate when the kid has to be a parent. It's never yeah. good for you. But what if you just created some consequences? Just like say, what? you know, like, I don't want you to go to this thing with me. Well, she she, she has go. to go. You she have would to go. go? All right, what did what did she say when you told her that uh, she was wearing things that were too revealing? Told her that I was going on her business and it was not of mine. Yeah, but when she comes with you to your peer meeting, it's your business. Okay. And that's but it. She picked me up from school and I told her she said this is not. All right. Well, look. Uh, okay, guys, can I jump in yeah, here? Go ahead. Uh, okay, call me Knucklehead Johnson here. Knucklehead Johnson. You're Knucklehead Johnson. I think you should fight fire with fire, my sweet. That's right. You got to uh, slut it up. One whore outfit deserves another. That's right. I oh, say my, you hit I'm mommy where Catholic. it hurts. So, and so's your mom. Wear uniform. Here's the deal. She uh, she shows uh, nipple, you show camel toe. Twinkie hole, baby. She shows <laughs> camel toe, you show brown rose. There you go. And you keep what going. Things, Adam? What's that? What are these things? All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Send me that blood, sweat, and tear CD, and I'll send well, you. Hold on. I have one question. You you said your mom just started dressing like this. What happened to her? That that this. No, changed? no. For the past five months, I'd say she's well, been getting more and more so. But what what do you think motivating her to do this? Um, you know, she had always dated very sane men, uh-huh. like my father. Well, they're divorced now, but um, she kind of dated this kind of crazy guy. I guess he was, well, he wasn't crazy, but wild. Wow. Why don't you ask your dad to intervene here a little bit? My dad doesn't really care. All right, who cares? Unless her mom dresses a little loose. It's you know, the Adam, summer. Whoa, well, Mr. Birthday. No. You yeah. just wait a minute. Now, Dr. Drew was trying to heal some babies here, and you <laughs> cut him off at his knees. Listen, he was just closing in for the kill. Teen girls hate their moms. Yes. Let's face it. Yes. Let's face it. Mm-hmm. From age uh, about 13 to uh, 19, if you're lucky. Yeah, 35 is the uh, outer end of the yeah. spectrum. But Three sigma. About 13 to the time they move out of the house, they can't stand their mom. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they look at it as competition. They just lock horns. You know, women naturally don't like each other. They don't. So when, when, but, but it's a girl and a woman for 13 years, and then it's woman-on-woman crime. And now you got two broads living under the same roof, and they go at it all the time because they're natural enemies anyway. 
I mean, it makes sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, I am not gonna. I'm not gonna tolerate any of that if I have a daughter. And Drew, I don't know what you're gonna do with your daughter because your Drew, you're, how old is your daughter? Your wife ten. and your daughter are gonna go at it. Yeah, they get along pretty well. Yeah, she's ten. This Wait, is the two for the storm. Two years. Yeah. Two years. That's right. <laughs> That's right. True stuff. Did you learn any more? I was curious about your old friend that you were talking my, my about. My ex? Yeah. Uh, I'm so beyond that. Did you? you know? But did you learn any de- is, oh, Was I, it all I what did. you suspected? It was worse. It was worse. Whoa. There's still bodies coming forward. Wow. But, you know, all I want to say is I've moved on and the and you're authorities... On and you're on meds now. No, I'm not. The authorities have are closing in on her. For? Uh, uh, just... That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Dag went through a rough breakup some months ago, but he's back break. on his feet. The breakup was the good part. He was devastated. It was, it was. She was two timing him. She was three, three four, eight, four, and five times, timing him. Fifteen, 15 timing 15, him. Fifteen. Yeah. That's all right. She had a little problem. But he landed With on her his feet. With her twinkie hole. <laughs> but Dag's back. That's I am. I'm thing. back. I'm sticking the jab out. I told you. I said, don't oh, kill yourself. Boy. It's all a lie, Dr. Drew. <laughs> Teresa, <laughs> you're 15? What's up? Okay. When I go sun tanning outside, yeah. I'll just be like laying there and it'll feel like I'm getting off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you, like, you're, like you're having an orgasm. Yeah. Mr. Heat Miser's diddling you? I don't know. All right. All right. What you, are you wearing when you're doing this? My swimsuit. Swimsuit. Are you lying in any particular position where you could be, you know? Laying on my back. On your back. Yeah. Legs uh, together? Girls are the best. Mm, well, not really, but they're like just. Mm-hmm. Side by side, each other. All right, and do you have this? You're just lying on your bed. What? If you're on your bed and you're not in the sun, do you have this? No. Does it? Do you orgasm real easily? Mm, I don't think so. Have you ever achieved an orgasm just sunning? Just what? Just lying in the sun. Have you ever achieved a full orgasm? Well, nothing will like come out. It'll just feel like it. Well, listen. You're calling from Minnesota. Yeah. Yeah, you got to move. <laughs> if this is what's going to give you the big O. You You're gotta, the equator. you got to head down to Ecuador. Arizona. Go to Arizona. <laughs> yeah. Or Central America or something. Yeah. you got like solar-powered coos. <laughs> That's going to be the name of my next book. Do you have an older sister? Yeah. Like, say, 17, 18? Yeah. Yeah. Sunflower. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, who knows what this is? It's a, it's a little sensation. Dr. Drew, what I've heard I've, there, uh, just a couple of other female friends of mine have talked about this. In the sun. Year. Just yeah, lying, lying, not, not lying or it. just like I don't know, doing some benign. Uh, oh, activity. they have this. Oh, They're yeah. doing sit-ups and stuff, and the things. Guys, doing. that never happens to guys. No, women's stuff. Board games just fall out. They really? Just yeah. yeah. God bless them. Uh, but the solar power is new. This but is women, women do like lying in the sun. Like women, women will women will go down the beach and lie mm-hmm. around for three or four hours, where guys will like have to play frisbee or something. I guess they there. like it more than I thought. No, yeah, it's that's only special saying. women that this happens to. Okay. Only God's chosen. Yep. You're, jo- you're uh, God's chosen whore, Teresa. <laughs> no, you're fine. That's fine. There's no answer to this. All right? Get a magnifying glass. Yeah, you got no problems, all right? Okay. All right, put sunscreen on, though, right? Yeah. That's Down there. Not supposed to spend so much time in the sun. Yeah. Down there. Yeah, use a special applicator. Yeah. All right. Good times. That's a non-question. Let's when are we going to get to the birthday celebration? Amber's over here. When the pie's brought out. Amber, uh, you're 22? Yes, I am. What's your question? Happy birthday, Adam. Thank you, baby Happy doll. <laughs> and uh, b- before I get to what I wanted to tell you, I wanted to say something to David Allen. Yes. Greer, yes. Um, do you remember a couple of years ago how you did... Okay. All right. Uh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dave, go, back, go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> All right, go back. Oh. Go ahead, Amber. Oh, Sorry. Do you remember a couple of years ago where you did that that uh, comedy thing, uh, uh, but the, the the dog house thing? Yeah, the yeah. dog house. Yeah, in San Francisco. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I bought tickets mm. especially to see you. Yeah. What you did they uh, did they serve food there? Oh God. Please I don't, don't know. Do this. Because me and my friend were about to pull into the parking lot, and I remember they left the tickets at home. Yeah. Had you never made it? No, never made good, it. Good, good I was pasta, so though, didn't they? I wanted to see Garlic it so bread. bad. There's there are 900 park- comedians there. Uh, parking lots are tough because people always urinate in them and they yeah. smell funny and <laughs> then people Adam, get drunk. And they're, like, coming out of the club. they're coming out of the club and they're vomiting I all over <laughs> the place. <laughs> I'm just saying... Oh, during, Adam, it's your birthday. During the, well, you know, during the summer, Drew, when it's a really hot night... <laughs> Fester and vomit, and it starts to smell. And vomit urine mixed together. Well, mix the vomit and the urine, yeah. I've seen number two. I've seen number two. I have seen it. Yeah, I've seen it sprinkled in there. Oh, it's 
Jeez, Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Quite a smell. Though. The disgusting part is, is rants will eat that oh, stuff. I mean, man. a whole carrot's coming out of a guy. Oh, it's 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 it's, a, it's festering. In like, winter months, it's fine. But during the summer, it's just putrid. Happy it's birthday, rancid. You bastard. What is that bile? Uh, that bile that bring the up? Vomit? No, yeah. it's all that. It's all the unprocessed. It's all the cottage, cottage cheese looking stuff. But, but acid? Oh, that stomach acid? The stomach acid mixed, mixed in with the cottage oh, cheese. Oh, oh, wow. Can I get a mop? Because I'm. Oh. Now, what if you ate Mexican? Would that be worse? <laughs> that or? smells worse. That smells worse. It can look a little worse. But anyways, yeah. Do you remember yesterday you were talking about that blind carpenter? The blind carpenter, yeah, it was uh, it was furniture a, maker. It was a craftsman tool commercial. And you well, related. I'm blind. You're blind. Yes, I am. Yeah, I I was just laughing because I was watching a craftsman tool commercial and they had a blind carpenter, and they were showing him working on. He's a furniture maker. He's been blind for 20 years, but he put his shop goggles on when it came time to use the chop saw, and I thought, really. That's yeah, cute. Give that's me worst cute. case scenario. I saw blind skiers. Yeah, but th do they wear goggles? No. Uh, yeah, they did. They What's had, up? What's the whole outfit? You know, All you right. Wanna, you don't want to see those wandering eyes. Uh, that's very <laughs> Amber. Anyways, you, you're uh, blind, and what do you do? Me? Mm -hmm. At this point in time, nothing. But anyways, the reason I'm calling is because I attended a school down in Louisiana, where it was mandatory that you make an object out of wood. There's a teacher who taught you to use all the tools and taught you. You know, basically how to make an object out of wood, and you can make anything you really wanted. And you're completely blind. Yes, I am. So you have you been blind your whole life? I went blind back in '96 due to a bad car accident. Oh, so but you see, you, you remember? Oh, you know, you know what everything looks like, though, yeah, right? I yeah, I know what colors, shapes. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. What'd you make? Baby? You had you had brain injury or, or eye injury? Uh, more brain injury. Yeah, yeah I had a brain injury. Yeah. Your brain sounds pretty good, other than the part where you can't see. What'd you make, dear? What'd you I make? Could, um, what did I make? I, yes. I nothing. I got kicked out before I got a chance to make anything. She made a girl. she made a hash she pipe. Did build you do up. something? Or did, had you? Why'd you get kicked yeah, out of blind what? wood shop? She probably said, I can see. I can see. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Well, um. In that school, they had like different different things. They taught you how to cook. They taught you how to clean. They taught you how to use the cane. And my cane instructor basically felt me up. Wow. And he had a girlfriend there, and how did I you wasn't, know? I wasn't the only girl that he tried this with either. But I was the only one that had the balls to write her a note in braille because she was blind too. Mm -hmm. I wrote her a note in braille and put it in her room after the day was over. And I guess somebody saw me going in there, and um, the next day, the, the person who ran the place called me into her office, and the guy who did this to me was sitting in there with me, and he basically lied through his teeth, and um, I, I was out of there. Mm. I had to leave you know, that same day. Adam, I hate blind girls, because they yeah. all stick together! <laughs> so hard to, you know, mess around <laughs> on those chicks. Hey, uh, Amber? Yes. It sounds like there's uh, elements of that story that are missing. Yes. You got uh, felt up by teachers. She wrote a letter to his girlfriend saying, look right. out. And you got thrown out of the school when the headmaster found it. I don't want to pile on, but there are, there's something that's missing from that story, Drew. Thank you. Well, some uh, victimization <clears throat> part of it. All right. Well. But God bless you. Uh-huh. And uh, it's still, look, uh, you never did finish that wood project, huh? No. All right. You see, the reason why they, they, did the, they made you do the wood, wood project is for self-esteem and whatnot, right. which I guess makes sense, but my self-esteem is fine. All right, baby doll. All right, good time. You know, Dr. Drew, I have a question. Yes, Why sir. is it even when women are blind, they will not... Shut up! God, they talk too much! Shut up! You'd think if you lost one of your senses, you'd shut your pie hole, but apparently not. <laughs> no, your other... In the upper and lower. Your other pie openings get larger when one closes. <laughs> Oh, God. It's true. Hey, uh, Adam, sidebar. Ever since, sidebar. Ever since that uh, traumatic experience with the ex-girlfriend, Dag's been on a little bit He's angry. unstable, this kid. Yeah, he worries me. He's so stable. I, that's why I thought he was on meds. Shout, out, okay uh, shout out Tuesdays. Freddie funny. Spencer, Motorcycle he's Racing sane. School, Vegas. A Love, comedian who's sane. Are you, are you high? Come on. Who, I am Dan? so... Look at me. No, anybody. Oh, I am so great. I Meredith, my scary, lovely uh, Let's just get PR back to the show okay. before he freaks out. Right, sure, got got Stop. It. Then you turn it against me. <clears throat> no, man. It's you all cool, You are so tight brother. with me. I quote you all the time, Dr. <laughs> Drew. I do. <laughs> 
I haven't been to therapy lately, though. Yeah, um, boy, no I, S. I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm I'm tired of it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're I'm out healed. Out, you're outgrown it. I'm healed. You're outgrown no, it. I'm going back. I'm going back. Why? I'm going back. Why? Uh, you tell them something. I they don't need to tell you anything, anything anymore. <laughs> no, I don't. Katie. To Katie. Uh oh. Katie, Katie from Florida. Katie. Oh, there you are. What's up? Go. Hi. Hi. What? Ask um, your question. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I gotta say you guys are so awesome, and I love Doctor Drew. Great, He's like the man. Oh, thanks, Katie. What's up? No one's giving me a compliment in a long I time. I know because you don't <laughs> earn them. Uh, so. What's up, Katie? Yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I have a question. Um. Sometimes, um, like when my husband and I have sex, you mm -hmm. know, like sometimes, like I think it goes too deep because I feel like it's touching something that's your like that's your, your yeah your cervix he hits mm -hmm. is that my cervix yeah yeah uh, and usually if like you if you change your positions you can sort of avoid some of that so what's a good position okay for that? Right. um probably the missionary the, wheel it's, the, it's the behind yeah. the the doggy stuff where they really hit from the that. back yeah. yeah you hit the wall right here. yeah the dang yeah, position that's just like a position right yeah yeah change it be okay <clears throat> Yeah, yeah and, it's, and it's again, it's just because you're hitting up against it doesn't mean you can harm things. Yeah. But if you have a lot of pain with deep penetration, you got to... Someone's knocking at the door. It's a good thing to get looked and make sure there's not Ring an infection the or a cyst or endometriosis, that sort of thing. But, I, you know, it's normal to feel uncomfortable when you hit up against that. All right? All right, Katie. All right, hey, good times there, Take care. Dag is uh, in When's studio When's the last time tonight? you hit a wall there, my friend? The old back wall there, huh? Adam. Adam. Girl, look, girl. Uh, yeah. Kablink, 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 kablink. Nah, I get no. the are you in. <laughs> oh, like I'm finished. Stop it. Dag, David Allen Greer, the great David Allen Greer. It's Life with Bonnie. Adam Day. It's Adam Day. It's Adam A D A M. Why? Because we love him. It's All the right. Adam Shot Day. Hey, I, who told me to shut up? <laughs> Buddy, it's the love line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Dear, 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 dear friend. David Allen Greer's in studio tonight. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. You know, I had so much fun on Jimmy's show. We, you know, we were there. Oh, dag, yeah. You're the co host? Yeah, love the JK. Dag did a great job. Did a little singing, a little soft shoe. I got to go over there. You know, I ran into Wayne Brady. He rolled up on me. Hi. <laughs> Wayne Brady, David, I loved uh, what you did on Jimmy's show, you bastard. <laughs> what you made? Did you pretend to be him or something? No, I, I did a musical tribute because he's my big hero, you know. In <laughs> Wayne Brady for me falls under the heading of Sammy Davis Brady. Of, well, there are these people who you can agree are talented. Yeah. Now, shut up. <laughs> like it's like Wayne Brady, and there's there's handfuls of these guys out there. It's like. They're funny. I mean, I mean, Wayne uh, Brady is a, is an immensely talented guy. I never want to see perform again. <laughs> <laughs> Where Stag has no ability, but I love this kid. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, I, kid. I have what is that? failed <laughs> to the mid 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 range, and I'm that? trying to sleep my way to the top. I don't know how that works. I'm not sure. It, yeah. It's sort so of clearly, Dag has not half, not not a not, not a not, not a tenth, not a tenth, the, not the, a tenth the, ability. The, the, Wayne, Brady. Wayne Brady has more talent in I what the doctor, the foreskin that the doctor I, whacked I, off. The, what they threw, they buried the backyard. They buried the backyard. They tap dancing in a sack somewhere. More talent in that discarded prepuce than Dag's entire family, entire family. But yet, yet I would rather, rather see Dag perform. What is what is that? It's my magic, my charisma. What is it? And what about Robin Williams? Robin Williams has more talent in the spittle that dribbles down his chin when he's masturbating. Then, then, then Dag. Then Dag and his, his Dag's entire How universe. How dare you? Dag's entire How universe. dare yeah. you? Listen, I got to talk to you, man. Go I ahead. went to the motorcycle racing school. Okay, now, 
What is up with Freddy that? Freddie Spencer's Motorcycle Racing School. I go with my friend. We Where is that? Up. It's in Vegas. In you know, Vegas. I thought we'd, they'd have us on, like, Honda 125s. Right. No, they would CBR 600s. Right. We had full leathers. We were uh -huh. going over 120 miles an hour. On, on the motorcycle. oval? Were we on oval no, or road track? we on this track? whole road track. Wow. And, uh, it was that's, amazing. That's exciting. Oh, it was great. You got to go. I didn't know you rode bikes. I do. I have a bike uh, today. Really? They gave me one. Yeah, they gave me this big, huge bike. Really? Yeah, every time I get on it, I'm like, this may be my last. What kind of bike is it? It's a CBR 1000 Double X. Well, it's a Honda. Huge. Yeah, well, because they gave it to me. But I'm getting a Duke. Ducati. What? Wow. Nine ninety nine, baby. Dang, don't we, ride those things. We gotta oh, talk. I got to. We gotta what's, talk. what's sexier than a motorcycle, man? Yeah. The hoes love a guy on a bike, Drew. They do. Uh, got to get a bike, baby. Jason. Wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hey, how's it going? You're 18. Hey, what's up? What's up? Uh, hey, Adam, it's your birthday today, right? Yeah. Hey, yeah, it's mine, too. All right, buddy. Let's turn 18. Right. Congrats. Happy birthday. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. um, all right, here's the thing. Um, in the past year, um, I've played football. You know, you got to lift and all that crap. Yeah. And um, in the past year recently, I've been getting stretch marks under, like, my armpit area, right mm -hmm. where my biceps and stuff. Are you yeah. taking steroids? And on my, uh, kind of, like, my love handles mm -hmm. a little bit. And, like, I thought it was nothing. It was, I thought it was just something little. I didn't think, you know, nothing of it. And then, like, more progressed through the year, and then i just been getting more and more. Like, it's, you know, it looks like it's getting, it's just stretching more. How much weight have you gained? Um, not that much. Um, what, 10 pounds, 10, 15 pounds? All right. And you, are you taking steroids? No, I ain't taking a damn thing. No way. What color I, I are you? I don't really need any of that stuff. You're dark skinned? Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. That's God punishing you. He punishes the dark skinned people. He punishes us with our length and our girth. That's how he punishes us. <laughs> he punishes right. us by letting that's us right. hit that back wall. That's right. Bang, he bang. Gives you the length and the girth on that nose, there boy. You go. I'll tell you. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> I take nose. back my birthday wishes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what'd you get me? Uh, uh, Diet Coke. Oh, man. thanks. Bro. Diet Coke. Watch out, because I got a little something on my lips. Watch it. Whoa! Oh, you see that thing on his lip? That's gay. That's gay. You drank my Diet Coke. That makes you gay. You gay. You're gay. Because you drank my Diet Coke. You're gay. You're gay. You're gay. You're gay. You're gay. 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 All right, Wayne. Okay. <laughs> like, 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 uh, Jason? Uh, yeah. Yeah, some people get stretch marks. I mean, like, um, like yeah, what girls. are ways to get rid of it? or uh, Nothing. There really is a laser. Some laser, yes. Yeah, surgery. Laser and surgery, don't, that's don't right. Don't do that. I mean, like, what does that do? Does that just conceal it, or does it sometimes get rid of all of it, or just make it look less obvious? It makes it look less obvious. And if you have it cut out, obviously, that's the Listen, end of it. Listen, chi uh, chicks don't have any beef with guys with no, stretch marks. they really don't. They really don't. They don't care. It's just not an issue. I, I don't think I've ever heard a woman complaining. Adam likes stretch marks. I like I stretch like marks on a woman. I don't mind them. It's mm -hmm. fine with me. Mm -hmm. Shows uh, the presence of breasts. I see stretch an indicator for breasts. Yeah, I see stretch marks, I think boobs. I mean, something's good. Don't worry about far, it. Yeah. Shake it off. Yeah. That's Shake fine. Yeah. yeah. Let's, uh, Adam, how's the marriage going? It's going good. Beautiful, yeah. man. Looking Your for wife doesn't have marks. any little frenzies? Then she could probably round something up for you. See what we can do. Trollops. Allie? Yeah. Uh, you're 15? Mm-hmm. 15 What's year up? olds. Um, yeah. Happy birthday, Adam. Thanks, baby doll. Um, like, um, you <laughs> can get pregnant when you're in your period. Yes. Yeah, it's very hard, though. It is? It's difficult. Okay, well, me and my boyfriend, we, like, joke around, like, a lot, you know? Uh-huh. And, like, um, his dick was out of his pants, and, like, Whoa. um... <laughs> what, 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 woke up. What, what was the joke? No, no, we we just like play around and stuff like yeah, and like his. He's not playing. Like, I got news for you. <laughs> he's playing. He's playing for real. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's playing. For I got games. my big boy out. What do you give me a hug, baby? <laughs> well, it was like by the area, you know. He what? He was by the area with his penis when you're playing around. You got a flyby. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. Like, it went it, off. It's no. It's not like possible. <laughs> to get, right. Yeah. What? What? It's not possible for me to get pregnant because of that. Like, because what happened? Let me, let me, let me talk in um, doctor terms. Honey, was your man's big boy, was he spitting at you, dear? No. He wasn't? He just w waved it nearby? Yeah, and it was like, <laughs> it was like by there, but like, Did I'm not sure. You're not oh, sure. Did anything come out of it? No. What do you mean it was go by? What didn't, didn't go in there? Did, didn't brush the bushes? No. Well, okay. No. What do you mean okay. it was by Well, there? how could you get pregnant if his penis was in your vicinity? 
Like, no. All right. <clears throat> you know what I feel like on this show? I feel like uh, police interrogators at the McMartin trial. Uh, like you're dealing with like five year olds. Did the man, did he touch? Did, did his the devil his bring his horny toad <laughs> to your worship spot? <laughs> Draw a picture. <laughs> Draw a picture, sweetie. Show me There's a crayon. Show, show on the doll. doll. I'm going to pull my big boy out so you have a point of reference. Show on the doll where he touched you. Did he touch you here? Like, except for we're talking to, we're talking to high schoolers. I know, I know, I know, I know. She needs a sex ed class. All right, Drew. <clears throat> you can get pregnant when you're on your period. Yeah. But. Unlikely. Very unlikely. Yeah. And you certainly can't get pregnant if a guy's fooling around waving by penis. waving his penis yeah, at you. Yeah. yeah. That, no. and, 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 now, a no. rabbit may come out of your vagina if he has a magic penis. And, and magic a, and wand a, makes my penis grow. And, and a flag may emerge from his penis, a bang on it. Right. But you, but, you no. can't get pregnant. I, I get the I, I get the feeling he must have done more than just sort of... And his penis could turn what? into scarves. Go <laughs> around. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Knotted Nic scarves. Nicole? Hello? You're 18? Yes. What's up? Um, well, I've been sleeping with this girl that I really liked, but we're not together. Mm -hmm. And um, she reeks down there, like seriously. What's she smell like? And she smells and she tastes really bad. Mm. And I don't know how to tell her that without well, being rude about it or having her. We're going like, to give you a script. We're going to give you a script. Well, wait, 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 first of all, how long have you been with her? Um, we've been messing around for the past three years. Three years? And the Has whole time? Has smelled bad? Huh? Has it always smelled bad down there? Yeah. How old is she? She's 18. And you, over three years, you've never sort of brought it up? No, like, I don't want, like, I have this problem with, like, telling people what's up, but, like, I is don't Is it, want. is it, do you think this could be just sort of normal? And You know what I mean? I mean she's still in that sort of yucky, she's from, she's yummy phase? Yeah. You know what I mean? Have, is this the only girl you've been with? This is something yeah. the guy has overcome, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We well, get over some, girls, some girls have their own special aroma and others... But, but guys are very directed, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 it takes a lot to slow them down. That's true. Yeah, yeah. but like, I don't want to be rude about it, and I don't want to like, have this push her away from me or anything. <clears throat> well, let's do some role-playing. Let's, let's do some role-playing. Get a script. Get What's a her name? What's her name? Her name's Amy. Amy? Yes. Uh, David Allen Greer is going to be playing the part of Amy. Um, what's your name? Nicole. 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 I want you to kiss me down there. I like when you uh, put your head in that place down there. Please, honey, I love you um, so much. Um, Come on, baby, get down not, there. Um, not right now. Why? What do you mean, what? not right now? We always do it right now at this time at 1036 every night. You always go down there. Come on. Well, Come on. you have problems. You need to go shower. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to shower. I just worked out. I played basketball. <laughs> I was doing well, squat thrusts. Uh, I stink. What, my feet? No, you stink down there. Down where? You your vagina stinks. You need to wash it. Oh, you're crazy. No, seriously. What's it smell like? It smells like rotten something. I don't know. Something died in there. Really? Yeah. I love you so much. How can you tell me my Twinkie hole stinks? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know how to tell you. But I have been you with so you for well. three years, and I've never washed because I want you to smell my loveliness, and now you do this to me. Well, you know what I'm going to do to you? I'm going to put I want to put stinky stuff in there and never bathe. I hope you're I love you. I love you. That's you need to wash yourself. No, you don't. I don't want to wash. I like the way I you know. a little bit better. You don't love me. All right, see what happens. Ah! <laughs> she killed herself. Well, you know. Drew started missing well, that CPR. That's my script. That's my script. All right, Nicole, you see what happens when you tell people the truth. Things go south. Yeah. <clears throat> no, yeah. tell her the anyway, truth. And tell by the way, the Nicole, for someone that's supposed to be rather coy and has trouble sort of uh, being honest, the pow comes right out. Well, yeah. it took her three so, years. She's been yeah, hiding in the swamp yeah, for three years. Part of the problem with not telling people the truth, you get resentful. You Here's blame you them do. for you're not Here's telling you them do. what you're Here's feeling. Here's what you do. Have you smelled yourself, Nicole? Have you checked yourself? Uh, I check myself all the time. I make sure I'm clean. No, here's what you do. Here's what you do. Yeah, you, know, you poor talc. I mean, there. I'm a lesbian, of course. I'm gonna make okay. it. Nicole, here's what you do. You tell her that you heard people talking on the radio about your sort of love line. We were talking to a girl who had a smell problem, and we advised that caller, not you, that caller, that it could be an infection. She needs to get a pap smear. needs to get that treated. That a bad smell and bad taste can often be a vaginal infection. Right. Mm, three years duration sounds a little She's wild worried. to me. Some She's women worried. have a strong aroma. And take it That's from right. a somewhat more caretaking point of view rather than the, the resentment right. you're feeling for her. It's another thing, uh, too, is uh, 
people uh, also get on people of smell. Basically, right. some people have their own smell. And some it, people are a little yeah, funky, others aren't. That's right. And it really, yeah. and, and Nicole's going down the path of, you don't wash. It's like, that has really probably nothing to do with this. I knew a girl named Tuna. That's what we called her. Yeah. Um, yeah. And she had a very strong smell. Yeah. And, and that's just what she, that's what she was. That's I mean, a very that's interesting story, Dag. No, but she did. You know, there's some women who have a very strong smell, yeah. and it's not, it's just the way they are. Her name was Julie Mackerel. Uh, <laughs> they just ironically <laughs> called her Tina Tuna. 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 All right. <laughs> We're going to take a little break. Dag is here. David Allen. Dagaroni, baby. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Buddy, it's Love Line. All right, guys, keep it down. Keep it down. We're trying to run a show. It's here. Adam's day, Dr. Drew. I'm Back sorry. Up. Okay. You're right. Dag, David Allen Greer. Dear, 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 dear. Hola, como esta, mi amigo? Adam, que pasa contigo? Huh? Dear, dear friend, Dag is here tonight. <laughs> Dag is uh, out of his shell. I am. He's uh, he's back. He's in a good mood. I am. He's feeling good. He's Peaks confident. and valleys, baby. Right now, I'm on a peak. Woo! He's peaking tonight, Drew. He'll, you know what? I painted yeah. my house. Some I didn't paint it myself. But, Hypomania, um, baby. I uh, I hired some, uh, well, recently <laughs> arrived, as I call them. Right. But, to paint my house. Did they have the board for Adam all week, too? No, I, I met these gentlemen at the Home Depot. Aye. Great mm -hmm. guys. Yeah. Great guys. Just flag me down. You know, <laughs> said, we work for you. We go and paint. Big, was like, great. Was big beautiful. fans of uh, Life with Bonnie? I don't know, because <laughs> I don't speak their language. Mm -hmm. But uh, they seemed very excited. I don't Man. really... Uh, you've, been, uh, you've been working on the house? I have. I've been doing been an old... Um, well, I can't say what I call myself. But, yeah, I've been around the house uh, doing all that stuff. i got to build a j j no, gazebo. That's what I A build. gazebo. Gazebo. Right. We call it gazebo, you know, in the hills, in the valley. It's uh, gazebo. Yeah. It's the difference between uh, cul-de-sac and uh, dead end. Cul-de-sac. Yeah. But uh, are you guys, what are you guys, on hiatus right We're now? We're on hiatus. We've been picked up. Yeah. Nice. We're going to be back um, Friday nights, I think, uh, 9.30, maybe. Uh, and when do you go back to work? August. I'm going to Venice. Yeah. I'm going to go to Florence, Venice and Florence, and then I'm going to go uh, to Africa. You're welcome to come. Oh, really? No, no. Africa is in July. Huh. Venice will be in June. Mm -hmm. on a safari. Are you, didn't you go on safari uh, recently, a couple of years ago? Yeah, I, I did. I went with my ex last year. I tried to sell her to some natives. They're like, we don't want her. She juggled Jimmy. No, no likey. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, now what's cool about Africa? Because I've never it's been there. It doesn't African. Where you going? I didn't really see that many black people when I went. Where you going? <laughs> Actually, oh, sir, you don't want to go over there. There, Ooh, those people. Where are you going? I went to South Africa last year. Uh, this year, I'm going to Kenya mm. and uh, Zanzibar. Mm hmm. Zanzibar, you know. And are you going to go Zanzibar. on safari? Yeah, yeah. Did you go on safari before? I did. I saw the rhinos. I saw the giraffes. I rode a horse up to the giraffes. Because when you're on a horse, the giraffes don't freak. They're like, uh, hey, did you look like us? Yeah, they Your think... Your neck's not as long. This is... Uh, lions, I saw uh, lions. And what, what's the most surprising out of all the animals? Um, okay, what is the most surprising? Well, the hippo. Yeah. More people die from hippos yeah. than lions, all that stuff. A hippo will jack you up and i went this is when the lakers were in the uh finals you know last year so they played at like five in the morning all the people on our safari team they came to our lodge and we found this little tv we hooked it up we watched the laker game so i'm walking back to my little cottage and we round the corner and they're like never get between the hippo and the water or else they'll kill you all right never look a hippo in our it'll kill you right never pet a hippo baby it'll kill you right so we go around the corner, and there is this hippo. And the hippo looked like a gray waterbed with little ballerina feet. And we're like, <laughs> and the hippo was like, Wee! and like it started chasing us. And we were running. Chasing oh yeah, oh yeah, it was scary. Are and they we were fat? laughing. No, oh, this is a big, big, huge yeah. whale. You know, ding, 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 ding. I'm always curious though, and I, I was. Uh, they have four I, teeth. I, How do they mess you up? No, they, they, they have, a lot of they have, teeth. They have two huge tusks, yeah. essentially yeah. spikes, uh. and their mouths open like 35 inches wide, mm. and they're aggressive. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And they but do. But it's in the water. That's because they're very <clears throat> territorial. Uh. So when you go into a watering hole and you're in, the, in boats, that's where they get you. Uh. They like. They chew on the boat, and the people fall out, and a lot of Africans don't know how to swim, movie. and, you know, they... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, all I'm saying is, is 
Hippos, and maybe it was a Fantasia or something with the uh, ballet dancing yeah, and hippos, but right. hippos have a, I'd say out of any animal, have a rap for being the coolest, yeah. and, and they're the cute. worst. And cute, yeah. See, that's why, Lovable. even in Congo, they had a scene where the hippos were attacking, and I was watching, I was going, oh, this, come on, this is gay, come on. Hippos. Yeah, hippos yeah, kill tons of people in Africa yeah, every year. They do, they do. Yeah, they're real aggressive. Well, you know, you don't care about that living in your little, you know, world post-Saddam. Yeah, Whatever. Don't yeah. get me started. I'm worried about the dirty bombs, not about the hippos. Julie? Yes. You're 20? Yes. What's up? I was just wondering um, what happens when you take meth and coke at the same time. Speedball, right? No, speedball is, is speed, cocaine speed. and heroin. Ball ball. Cocaine and heroin? This is oh. speed um, and, and cocaine. And, um, you take a meth and coke. Why, yeah. why it's got the word speed? Speed and coke should be a speedball. Mm -mm. Gotcha. Coke and heroin don't have the word speed in it. That's a hee-haw. I know. I know. It's co yeah, coke it's and heroin is speedball. Right. But be that as it may, um, I don't think it does much for you in terms of getting high. People don't typically put those two together, but... I'll give you some information I don't necessarily want you to have, which is they're actually doing some research now that okay. suggests that cocaine may protect the brain against the brain-damaging effects of speed. I knew it! See? That is why when I do my lines, I always take my pep your, pills your first. Vi your vitamin C. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so, I knew I was on to something. so speed screws up your brain, but the coke speed, protects it? Yeah, speed uh, causes... The, the the neurotransmitter to sort of not be packaged properly and get released within the cell. Mm -hmm. The neurotransmitter breaks down in the cell, becomes a free radical, and destroys the cell. Cocaine helps that all get repackaged again. Nice. And so did you see Crank me. Nation? Oh, no. Yeah, I did. Those, that was, but tell me I this, Dr. Drew. That, yes. What is the thing where they all the crankheads are all like tweaked out, shooting it, smoking it, snorting it, and then they go, well, we'd use it for sex. Now those sweaty amoebas, I never want to see them boning. What what yeah. is it? Yeah, it it seems like you most people can't function when they're on speed. No, they yeah. all all these all these addicts on this show were like, you know, then we have our special tweak when they said they're really tweaking, they just like screw anything for hours, days, just like Well, but then they won't have an orgasm as part of the thing. They, 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 they uh, inhibits orgasm. Hey, so. Julie? Yeah. <clears throat> Did you know that about the hippos? I had no idea. See that? Speedballs, honey. <clears throat> All right, baby doll. Uh, doing the heroin and the speed, probably not a great plan. Or the coke right. and the speed. All right? Okay. Choose one. One or the other, yeah. honey. Just st stick with the heroin or just the speed. <laughs> the hey, Ron. King hey, Ron will drive you to hell. All Get right? Get life together. All right, thank you. All right, bad times. Bye. Yeah, Seems listen, I, I saw I saw this uh, Crack Nation or whatever the hell it's called. Crank Nation. <clears throat> I saw the documentary, and it's just... It's the most insidious drug there is, the speed. speed. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's so ugly, and people just sit it's around so and ride. working class, you know. Guy, Did you see the picture of the chick uh, 10 years? When yeah. They showed her how she aged mm -hmm. in 10 years, man. Yeah. Woo! Worse than the stoned again poster. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And you It know, made me want to get high. I mean, call me crazy, but, you know. Mm -hmm. really. You're crazy. Yeah. You, know, you know what sucks, too, is the guys, the one guy was a roofer, and there's just yeah. no... No worse job to do when you're hungover or having the DTs or any of that. He's he's living in like Mississippi. It's 108 degrees and 200 percent humidity. He's just on the roof, just sweating buckets, jonesing for a hit a crack, and uh, crank, crack. and uh, and then whatever meager money he makes, and you know he's making 11 bucks an hour up on the roof of some guy's shack all day. Just comes right home and spends it all. I mean, I know what it's like to spend. Serious money when you're getting nine bucks an hour on drugs. It's horrible. Well, it's how horrible. about the chick horrible. was in That's the third tragedy. trimester? She was puffing on a camel right. and uh, bitching about her husband. Well, he won't get his life together. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm about to drop a calf, and he's up there getting all cranked up. <laughs> and it's great. They have no money, but they're out street racing in the family car. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's just a great, great plan. Great you plan. know, the thing I love about the crank people is God has played a cruel joke because if you ever hang around speed freaks, they can take anything apart. They can Can't never put, it back, put it back together. Yeah. Well, yeah. they took their lives apart. What? Francis, Very, wow. heavy. That's, That's heavy. That's poetry. Think about that. Ooh. Hey, guys. What's hey, up, what's Francis? Up, 17. What's up? Um, first of all, Adam, happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, I've been a long-time listener. Before I get to my question, and uh, I haven't heard, like, the Dr. Drew boogie or the Dr. Drew shuffle. Could we possibly hear that tonight? Well, we played the boogie uh, just a couple weeks ago, oh, actually. Was that when I was gone or something? Yeah, when you were uh, out with your 
hernia surgery. Oh, really? We played the uh, boogie. Old man, oh. old man, somebody is an old man. <laughs> Anderson hates uh, old the old boogie fart. because he didn't he do it. He knows everything well, he he's Dr. Drew. He, <laughs> he didn't do the shuffle smart. either, so he hates that one. Anderson hates everything he didn't do except for stuff that was done by... Uh, I'm going to say something amazingly profound right now. Blah, blah, blah. Millionaire. Oh, this is Anderson's. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Millionaire. Blah, 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 blah. My boyfriend literally. Why? All you screwed up people. You can't articulate, you can't articulate yourself any better than that. People. I did some gay porn with my mother who I had sex with. Oh, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little yeasty on the pecaroo, pecaroo, peck, peck, pecaroo. All right, I'm giving you all sex start now. Uh, I just got done whacking off to my mom. <laughs> Mommy? Uh, the world is your oyster. I mean, because that's <laughs> all the world is. <laughs> Drew is so jealous of my pecaroo. <laughs> Sorry. I'm the smartest of all the blue collar guys, and I'm stupid. The point is, is if I can do it, anyone can do it. My boyfriend, literally a millionaire. Yeah. Well, that was an Anderson production. That was a good one. Yeah. Good yeah. yeah. Good well, there you go. Not the uh, boogie. The Neptunes. That was produced. That was the Dr. Drew remix. That was solid. All right, Francis. Happy birthday to you there, buddy boy. Yeah, um, my birthday's coming up soon. That's and, uh, what. I kind of wanted some, uh, besides Taboo 2, some uh, good porn videos that I can go out and rent. Taboo 3, I got some. I got some yeah. bootleg He's porn in D.C. outside of Black Club. It's called All That Ass 22. Nice. Really? It was it's lovely. It was yeah, lovely. Good. I watch it on my computer. Yeah, we're lovely. Like, squeeze on the <laughs> <laughs> That's 22. <laughs> I'm not All right. You. David Allen Greer's here. Dag. Is he Dag and Roni, baby. Me. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be la, right la, back. La, 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 la. Yeah, Lucretia McEvil. Where's your game? What's this guy's name? What's went here? With the singer. Wow. Yeah, we got some pine here. Happy birthday, Adam Carolla Day. Evil McEvil. True, never gets <laughs> just dumped water all over. Dude, I remember when I first heard this. Even at the time, this wasn't rock and roll. It was oh, like, come on. Come on. Evil, that's your name. Lucretia McEvil. You know, I think Wayne Brady should remake this. <laughs> How would it sound? Evil McEvil, baby, that's your name. Shop it da 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 Yeah, good times. You don't want any pie, Dag? Yeah, hook me up, man. Dag, have some. Have my apple. No, I want, I the, cherry, eat the, I want cherry. the cherry pie, brother. I like the cherry pie. Really? Hook it up. All right. Give the right. brother some cherry pie up in Drew's, there. what's up with you, Drew? You, you punched that? a microphone. You knocked the water over. He's nervous. This, this, my this singlehood thing. is making him nervous. He remembers yeah. the good old days. Oh, my God. Thank Bang God I ate pie this evening already. <laughs> I've eaten so much pie in the last three days. It's ridiculous. I, Do you think you're going to get some special loving tonight? Mm -hmm. there? Why don't you come to a softball mm -hmm. game? Mm -hmm. I'd love to. Mm -hmm. Is it for real softball? Because I, I don't... I, don't, I, I, don't, I know, but I mean, uh, do you guys get really serious? Like, you yeah, know? They do. Yes, they do. No, we have a good oh, time. Geez. They get pretty serious. I stole third. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Do you do? Do you do underhand fast pitch like the? No, uh, we Lesbos just we just pitch it. Do you? Yeah, but I. Uh, yeah, I don't run too hard. You got, you got. You got. Um. Do you have mm. uniforms? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Fight coming okay. up. Fight. Mm -hmm. De La Hoya. Oh yeah. Sugar Shane, who's gonna win? No, Dad, I think De La Hoya is going to win this he one. May, he may, but Sugar Shane, you my man. Stick that jab, big, baby. Big fight at the, uh, <laughs> huh? the Staples? Yeah. Staples, Staples. Now. Kristen? Yes. You're 20? Yes. What's up? Dad, you want a little pie here? He's got, got some pie. I got some got cherry pie. pie. Speaking right, of cherry pie, Kristen, no. what's up, baby doll? Um, my question was that I just Good found out about a couple weeks ago that um, I have gentle to a wart. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, hey, we're trying to eat here, baby. I'm, I'm going to change microphones. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, but my, um, my doctor was really mm -hmm. telling me. Mm -hmm. 
I think there's one name for you, Carista. Evil Knievel. <laughs> Mama, what's your fucking name? <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> try, try that again. Mm -hmm. I got heard none of that. Um, mm -hmm. my doctor didn't. She didn't really tell me much. Um, I was supposed to go back for a checkup, and I, I never went back because they canceled the appointment. So, mm -hmm. I just wanted to know. If you can give me the lowdown on what this is. Like uh, half your half your friends have it. It's very common. Okay. It's venereal wards. It's exceedingly common, mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. can possibly put you at risk for cervical cancer. Certain other wart viruses will persist, and those are the ones that tend to be associated with the mm -hmm. cancer. So you have to get regular pap smears, mm -hmm. followed up regularly. If you like actually see, yearly or more mm, than that? sometimes biannually, sometimes you need a colposcopy. Twice you need to be very very diligent about this. Oh. And uh, if you see the warts, they need to be sort of burned off, and controlled and stuff because they well, tend to spread. Um, she, the doctor burned them off, but yeah. they didn't go. They're still there. All right, mm -hmm. well, you got to go back. Got to get them taken care right. of. Now, do a lot of people have these warts and not know they have them? Yes. Did you know you had them? Could you see them? Well, I just noticed all of a sudden one day, like that they popped up out of nowhere. And I was yeah, like, a lot of women have it, have just the virus, and don't even have the warts. And do guys get the warts on their winkies? There? They yeah. can. Let's explain to Dag while we're eating how the wart thing works. Um, um, basically, they they I'm burn them off. Oh, they, God. Now, what they'll do when they see a wart Adam, please don't is do this. either liquid nitrogen <laughs> it's or they cauterize it with a hot soldering iron. Oh, or you can inject it with uh, interferon. <laughs> interferon, <laughs> the actual right, wart right can into be, the penis. So you put yeah. the syringe. Oh! Actual needle, syringe needle, into the penis. needle goes into the penis, yeah, yeah, yeah. into the head of the penis or shaft. Oh, stop, where it depends on the ward. Is, right into the ward. Oh, they actually put oh. the uh, put the syringe into the ward the itself. Is it eater. true in ancient times mm -hmm. they had what they called wart eaters? Mm -hmm. There were little people that just chewed the wart. <laughs> and and is, now I don't like the burning because you can smell oh. the flesh. You can yeah, smell it, the it's burning it's flesh. An smell. It's an unpleasant smell. Right. No. I mean, the sound, the smell no, of burning stop. flesh cannot be cannot be pleasant. I want you to stop, uh -huh. Adam. It's is your that, birthday. How's that cherry pie treating you? Is that good? <laughs> they look like what? <laughs> oh. Hey, Adam, you're going to talk to uh, David Unger about Black Sedrum. An idea you had uh -oh. what? a while ago. Black Sedrum. Mm. Mm. Black Sedrum. Oh, uh, I had an idea. It was take off on a Max Sedrum. Yeah. Was that called Black Sedrum? So yeah, for a black guy. Yeah, yeah it was a black guy. It's Max Headroom. It's a black guy. And what did he sound like? You know, a typical black guy. And typical what would a typical stuff. black guy sound like? You racist bastard. You know, you come like, at me. I swear I will. Word up and uh, word up. You know, not saying Earth, but saying like Earth, Earth. and stuff Earth. like that. Yeah, Adams. Adams yeah, Crololo. Yeah, pluralizing Crololo. stuff that didn't Dr. need to be Drews. pluralized. Doctor Drews. <laughs> yeah, that's Dr. right. Dr. Drews. That's right. Saying stuff like, uh, "I got some new shoe for my feet." Right. Or they drop it. They'll drop an S. Herpy. I got a herpy on my head. <laughs> Doctor Drew. You could. Uh, you Doctor Drew. You could be the black headroom. Black headroom. Give me your effing shoe. No. That, Give me your uh, shoes. You are so racist. <laughs> I will have Al Sharpton down here, and he will spew uh, herpes bumps all over your Please. forehead. Black's headroom. Black's headroom. I guess uh, Anderson, Wayne Brady? Wayne Brady Anderson was in love with that idea. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Anderson has left the uh, yeah. control booth. He's left his post. <laughs> How about a little God bless the child? I think that's something that... Uh, God bless the child. I think uh, that's something that Dag could get involved with. You know, when I finally heard... Um, uh, Lady Day, Billy Holiday singing. I was like, "Wow! How did she get the blood, sweat, and tears song?" <laughs> <laughs> Tessa. Yeah. What's up, baby doll? Tessa, um, that's a beautiful name. Well, thanks. I think mm -hmm. it is. Um, it's a beautiful name. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, my question is, I've been with my boyfriend for a year, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and recently went to the doctor, and I'm like one of those people that get multiple UTIs yearly. Yeah, right from sex. What is that? UTIs? Yeah. Just like anything. You're an mm -hmm. infection. Uh huh. And mm -hmm. I get them like regardless of whether or not I have sex. But I wanted to know if there's any way, like I can do something to avoid getting them every time I have sex. Well, because yeah. I can get them from taking a shower, anything. Mm -hmm. Well, you can wash your twinkie hole at a quarter to two. Your mama may have UTIs. Uh, your papa may have UTIs. But honey, yeah. face the fear. Because God bless the child that's got a UTI on her stank hole. So you want to evacuate, empty your bladder after sex, all right? Mm -hmm. Squatting.
Some women take antibiotics every time they have sex. Now, mm-hmm. are you saying, do they put them in their mouth or right up the old poop chute there? In their mouth. Okay. And, <laughs> I learned something. Uh, then you can also get evaluated <laughs> to make sure there's not a urethral stricture or something wrong with your mm-hmm. bladder function to predispose urethral you with this. Urethral mm-hmm. right. my first wife. Have you had that evaluated? <laughs> I've had everything evaluated, and all they do is tell me to take urostat, like, every time I get them. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, well let's, let's, let's see what Dag's got to say. <laughs> I mean, Hold you might on. have some more advice. <laughs> I think... <laughs> Your mama may have UTIs, <laughs> but baby, God bless you and your twinky, stinky, inky, dinky little spot. Because you got your own UTI. <laughs> Embrace it, honey. You said you get them anyway. Yeah, make it, make it yours. Make it your friend. <laughs> Sit on your boyfriend's pole and love him. Because it's coming. You said you're get. Did, did you talk to your mom? Does she get them a lot? Or? No, you are losing it. I'm the only one in my family that gets them really? all the time. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to tell. God bless you and your UTI. You got your own. Woo! All right. Did we help her, Drew? Mm-hmm. We did yeah. something. I'm not sure why. Hey, this is nuts. Can I come back tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> I want to spend the night. Save some babies! Shut up! Who, who just said that? <laughs> who just... Who said that? Daniel? Yeah. Uh, you're, you're 15? Mm-hmm. What's up? Hey, can I state my opinion on something first? Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Go. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I think uh, Dr. Drew doesn't get enough credit for being funny. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank mm-hmm. you. Very good point. I just don't get enough credit generally. Yeah, it's I like, he's gonna I really don't get enough credit. It's hysterical. <laughs> tell one, of your, tell one of your knuckle-headed uh, 12-step jokes. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Drew. Uh, which Give one? it up for your okay, head. Go, go. Two addicts walk into a bar. Come on. And um, uh, let's jam a little bit here, Drew. You don't have to worry about that. Come on. Oh, yeah. What am I going to say? Woo! Wait a minute. I have a joke. I can get my thing. Wait, okay. Do they go yeah. to a bar? My right, yes. I go to a bar. Yeah. And then one says... Um, <laughs> he had a little head. He had a little, oh, tiny little head. Yeah, uh-huh. 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 Come uh-huh. on. Yeah. i got to put my yeah. answer in down. Yeah. They have a little head, and what yeah. happened? And um, <laughs> he said he, he found a genie. A genie with a bottle. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> a genie with a bottle. Go yeah. ahead. Go. Come on, Drew. <laughs> go with a little, and we'll get to the bunch later. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you are a genius. <laughs> you see how he did it? No, he, he can do anything. What can't he do? <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh. That yeah. is funny stuff. Yeah. I need yeah. some more apple pie, please. <laughs> oh, apple that pie. is good Don't stuff. Don't you ever. Drew, Tell you can eat my apple my pie. pie. I, I, really? Two, I had two pieces tonight for you. You don't like that? So good. I had two pieces tonight. Yeah, you, you know, Adam, pie. open the box because right. I think you... I want you to open the gift I gave you. It's a UTI. It's he, for you. He, he wants a song about a UTI. Oh, sorry. Fabiola? Fabiola. Oh, Christ. Fabiola, that's a beautiful name. <laughs> you better be hot with a name I like Fabiola. Hot, Are you? Yeah, I am. But wait a minute, baby! You are <laughs> Fabiola, which rhymes with Adam Krakatoa. <laughs> What's the prom, baby, doll? Uh, well, I first wanted to say... Uh, Drew, you are like beyond hot. I love you. Yeah, wow. Good. Good. I get this Drew's getting a lot of love tonight, yeah. man. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Um, actually, the questions about uh, my dad. About four years ago, he had his thyroid removed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, because of cancer. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. And um, he's been fine as far as physically ever since. But um, I'd say pretty quickly after the surgery. His personality started to change more and more and more, and now we don't even know who this man is. Mm-hmm. Did he get hooked on pain meds or anything after the surgery? No, not at all. Not at all. Um, he started, well, it started out with things that seemed like a midlife crisis. Like, he, he was balding, so he started shaving his head, and he, he started going to the gym, like, three times a oh. week. Well, he's, he's nailing his secretary. It's it, nothing it, to do with his <laughs> thyroid. It started out with that, and then... Um, the, the things that seemed more paranoid start, started coming out. He, we would Anybody who has a conversation with him later on will find out that 
what he got from that conversation was not even remotely what happened. Well, what's your thyroid have to do with your personality? It really it, it shouldn't at all because they will replace the thyroid with oral medication. Well, what if what if they don't? What happens? You get hypothyroid, and that can cause depression and things like that. How old is your dad? He's oh god, he's uh, 46, 47. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we did so find I did yeah. actually find out because he had always uh, his parents had died you know years and years ago, and we did find out that um, his mother died in a mental institution mm-hmm. and his father like didn't speak for like the probably the last 10 years of his life maybe he's a little manic depressive and yeah. sort of you know things are taking is off again so, is he still with your mom fabiola he, he is but it, it's be a manic to name your child fabiola I was gonna yeah. say, did, did dad name yeah. you because that's a clear <laughs> sign i'm gonna name this baby fabiola Actually, i'm feeling was, fabiola Woo! as a foster child when I was 13. What? What, 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 what? Foster at 13? Yeah. Anderson, play Go Down Gambling. <laughs> Do you have any sisters or brothers, Fabiola? Be, she became a foster several. child or she... Hold on, hold on. What are your sister and brother's names? What are my, my sister? I have a sister named Andrea. Okay, mm-hmm. that's normal. I have normal. a sister named Yomada. Your mama? Stigmata. Stigmata, what? Your mama. <laughs> your mama? True. Is, is, is your it's, father brother man? Uh, it's, no, no, we're Hispanic. Stigmata, really? and what else? Who else? Um, well, me, Fabiola, there's uh, Juanita. Okay, all right. And then I have a brother named Julio okay. and a brother named Caesar. Right. Uh, all right, hold on. Crank it up, Anthony. We got a rock here. Go down gambling. Fabiola. <laughs> Your birthday. Go down gambling. Now, you may never have to go. Remember this oh. one, Dad? Oh, you know, uh, yeah. it's too hard rock for me. Yeah. No, Listen no, to that guitar. Not, not cool in the gang for you? Uh, how dare Should I put this on the morning radio demo? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's how get dare you, Adam, no, if guy, that is your name? I found, found a bottle, and there was Genie in the bottle. <laughs> Yeah. That's she the gave three wishes. That's right? Genius. That's yeah. genius, baby. Hey, she gave me three wishes. Yeah. Fabiola? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, your dad may be, may be coming undone a little bit here. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's related to thyroid, although that may have depressed him or sort of shocked him in some way. And, and indeed, you know, people that are sort of delicate in terms of their mood balance, uh, changes in their thyroid hormone level can screw with their mood. Okay. Right. Well, what about this? He faced cancer. Maybe he That's thought he was going to die. Yeah, I'm saying and that. Yeah, and this is the real him, baby. This is the real yeah. Fabiola daddy. Well, I, I, I it out. certainly looks worth, warrants looking into it. Did, did we find out the parents together or anything? I don't know. Spat Go down, gambling. Three wishes. Three. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know what the first two were? Mm-hmm. He wanted uh, a, a big car. Go down, gambling. That's a, that's a horn, Stag. You got no problem with that. I thought they were black women singing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pick a call there, Drew. Uh-huh. Alicia? Yeah? You're 18? Yeah. What's up? Okay, um, first of all, I got to say um, that my boyfriend, he decided to be a carpenter because of you, Adam. God bless him. Oh, oh speaking of because yeah. of you, Adam, listen, I've got this uh, top 10 high school list from MSNBC News uh, right. website. Mm-hmm. And uh, you'll, I want you to pay attention. Uh, out of the top 100. You said no, top, top 10. I beg your pardon. The top high uh-huh. school in the country. Uh-huh. Uh, out of the top 114, number 97. North Hollywood High. Well, North I think Hollywood things have changed in North Hollywood. I think they sh- you should challenge them to uh, sort of Adam, uh, make, make it right for you. They, they must they, have they're... built an underground railroad to China. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's all I but can But, you know, they, they did you so wrong. Don't you think they owe you something? And I don't know. And especially true, if they have a reputation now being one of the I top i got to rock now. I just I, I can't hear about this. Come on. Are going to... Um, a strip club tonight, Adam? Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Chaka Daka Locky. Hey. Let's save the baby. Hey, Adam. Go down, Gambling. All right. Oh, down, Gambling. Dang, do you go to the strip clubs every, every night now? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I haven't Most. been in a while. I don't uh, like Alicia? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. So, uh, what's hours. going on? Um, okay. Well, um, before me and my boyfriend have sex, like, Usually we'll have oral sex. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And um, it, like, it feels good, but only for a second. And then if we go to have sex after that, then it, like, hurts. Do you and have an I, orgasm during oral sex? Yeah. 
Okay, well, why don't you hold up? No, don't take it to that point before you have sex. Yeah. But if we don't, then then I don't feel anything. Yeah, but he can do that to you after you have sex, right? Yeah, finish you off. That's what I do. I go down and taste myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, or finish off. That's your move. That's your move, Adam. Finish off. That's my polish off yeah. move. Well, my, now in other lose. words, you go down gambling. <laughs> that's right. I roll the dice. Taste yourself in the stinky, stinky hole. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that was the original lyrics to go down gambling. <laughs> So, in other words, uh, what we're telling you is before your boyfriend goes down gambling, you say, roll those dice, but hold them till I scroll. I, I messed up the lyrics. Yeah, no, but so that you want to you want to have sex first and then have go the down sex. gambling <laughs> after sex. And it's, 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 down. there's nothing wrong with you that you're very sensitive yeah. after you have an orgasm. It's just your normal. boyfriend That's that needs to go down gambling. He's, he's got to get his sort of. You got to get the order of things right here. And you got to. So tell in other him. words, you're saying sex first, and then go down gambling. <laughs> that's what he's saying. Uh, All right, that's that's what he needs to do. Huh. Sex and then what, Dad? Go down gambling. <laughs> All right. Alicia, tell Wait, that I, man to I go miss, down there. I miss there. his cheers. Can we go out with a cheer? Boom shaka laka laka <laughs> boom shaka laka laka. Hey. Because you're always deep, because you're life for A, because you add a wish as M, because you marvelous. Go at him, it's your birthday. Go at him, it's your birthday. Stick your butt out, it's your birthday. Go at him! Woo! Hey everybody, it's Love Line. I'm Adam. <clears throat> That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. The great David Allen Greer is in studio tonight. Dag is uh, here. We're rocking out with Adam AC. Dag, I just want to say that uh, your, your um, cranky anchor phone calls came out oh, great uh, this you. season. Thank you. Did, uh, thank did, a, you. did a new character cool. called. Uh, Landanian, <laughs> Landanius Trufeld. L Landanius Trufeld, <laughs> who is a uh, ex jock. Well, he, he played Triple A. Triple A, the community college. He never really, you never could really tell how he much ball really he played, but he would call sporting goods stores and want free stuff and want to be spokes <laughs> spokesperson. Person, you know, that's good for the two socks and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was good because the kids, the little, the little kids, these little guys are like eight or nine years old. They were on their razors in front of my house, going, "You're on that show, <laughs> and crank anchors." Well, yeah, now, Daniel well, gave me my puppet. Thank <laughs> you. Daniel. Oh, he did. He gave you the puppet. He gave, you, puppet. He gave you the Landanias. No, he gave me the uh, Danny. He's been retired. Oh, oh, oh the Danny's throat puppet, the, the, the vomit puppet. Yeah, been retired. Crank give, us a, anchor. give us a little shot Thank of the Landanius uh, truth. Landanius true fail. Basically, you probably know who I am. Landanius true fail. Truth. And uh, what I would like to do is be your spokesman mm -hmm. or bodyguard mm -hmm. or what I like to say, <clears throat> just a shout out man. You know, <clears throat> come through like with Tyson. You say. Uh, uh -huh. Adam Corolla uh -huh. and make little raps. You well, know, we you just know. we just own a small sporting goods store uh, here. And I could do stuff. <laughs> 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 I'm coming around to it. Right. I see. His name is Adam. He fuck it. You know stuff like right. that. You right. Right. Do little. <laughs> and you got a nickname they call you something? The truth. The truth. The truth. True fail, and then true fail. You, you played some ball. You played yeah, college ball. I played ball? AAA. I mm -hmm. played AAA. Uh, uh, let's see. I played tri Long Beach Community College. Mm -hmm. I played Pierce. You have a shot Pierce. at the pros. You have a uh, shot at the pros. No, no. Mm -hmm. I played field hockey. Ripped mm -hmm. it up. Ripped mm -hmm. it up with them hoes out there, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, love. They that. play with the girls. Absolutely, man. Mm -hmm. They big bone, big bone women, but I like mm -hmm. them, you know. And what are you doing now? Uh, Just well, basically, what I'm doing is a uh, uh, <laughs> career. Uh, um, uh, nothing. <laughs> well, well, right now. <laughs> right now. This moment right here, right now, nothing. It's, it's nothing great, too, because people people have sort of endless sympathy for ex jocks yeah. They do. He hurt himself. And, yeah, and they, they, they can't figure out where the guy came from, but he just sounded like, well, they must have seen this guy play at some point. Yeah. Now, that uh, one first. All right, Dag, Dag wants this one first. All right, yeah, let's talk so to uh, Jeanette. Let's heal some babies! Hello. Jeanette. Hello. Happy birthday, sexy. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, Dr. Drew, your wife is a lucky, lucky lady. She is. Yep. She is because she's out of town most nights. <laughs> That's basically. 
why she's so... Uh, my problem. Uh, I recently got together with a guy who's very large, um, mm-hmm. How big is you know, baby? down there, and I have endometriosis. Uh, so bad I times. Need a, I, pardon me? Bad times. Yeah, yeah. I need a position that's going to not... I mean, usually, like, if I'm in a missionary position, mm-hmm. and I'll kind of, like, squeeze my legs together a little bit to control the, yeah. um, the, the how depth. much, you know, the entry is. Mm-hmm. But, is he hitting the wall, I mean, baby? we're talking bleeding and aching Ooh. and cramping even Ooh. after sex. So, I, I, I know guys are. He's, like, he's proud of himself. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. Flat, <laughs> I and this. then the other thing is you would think that this guy would be proud of his size and yeah. kind of want to show himself off. But he has not let me see his penis yet, and he says that he doesn't like not like to have it touched. He won't let me go down on him, and it's something I Uh-oh. it's like something that is essential for foreplay for me. It's something I like to do. And God, really, and, yeah. first of all, <laughs> dump this man. I'm gonna yeah. give you my number. <laughs> Maybe as an implant or something. He doesn't. No, like uh, there's some there's some fishy stuff going down. And, like and it's not even his like, penis. Mm-mm. Not his like, penis. He only likes anal play. Like he'll only stay on his stomach, and then he'll leave the room to put a condom on. He won't. You know. Oh, come I mean, on. that's. What's going on? Do you have any suggestions? You're dating a woman! <laughs> no, and you and you let him inside you and you haven't even seen it? No. Nope. You gave him the black, baby? You gave him the booty? I, yeah, of course I asked him about, you know, before we even got to that point about... You haven't seen any I, part of it? Well, I got a glimpse of it, you know, when he was, like, coming towards the bed. But he tries to hustle, so, he, you know, you can't see it. But Does, well, and, no, and, I, and, you know... Wait a minute. Let's get back to the anal play part. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. He likes you to play with his anus? Yep. <laughs> he doesn't want to put something in Oh, your I thought, I thought oh, no, you no. were... No, he, he'd like to do that, too, but God damn, I, I mean, I mean, goodness gracious. I, he can't even, I can't even handle it. No. It's like the first one, Does it feel natural? Go for the back door, you know. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Tell <is> he... <laughs> me about it. Repeat it, Sodomy. Look out, look out. Someone's knocking at the back door. <laughs> I want to tell you a joke, honey. I want, let me do a sidebar here. Two oh, okay. heavily addicted uh, knuckleheads walk in a bar. Drew, take it from there. Mm-hmm. This is hilarious. <laughs> mm-hmm. They found a bottle. Genie. She, she, one guy, and they had a little head. Little head. A little head. And, and, and the guy said, hey, what's up with you? And, and he said, I, 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 found a G, I found a bottle. <laughs> you are not. I'll tell you. You can sit in this chair oh, anytime. Oh, my gosh. Anytime. Gosh, what a Woo. Anyways, back to your man. <laughs> I think he's using a strap on or something. That's something what like Dag's that. getting at. He doesn't believe it's a real penis. Mm-mm. Yeah. He yeah. Does it feel real and normal in there? Oh yeah, and I mean, and, and I've like touched it, and then mm-hmm. had to like apologize profusely. Is it to warm him because I for touching it? it? You know. But he has a condom on when you touch it. No, before I'm talking about before we mm-hmm. like. When you Does it feel like a rolling pin? No, it feels mm-hmm. like a real penis. And also when he's on his stomach, you know, he'll kind of lift his ass up to get more, you know, area P- piston, coverage. Piston. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Either, she's 26, either this is bogus, no, no, get bogus. or she's really screwed up, yeah. or third option, fat girl, big girl. Could be a big girl. <laughs> Only big girl put up with this. You a big gal? Size six. Size six. Wow. Yep. Yeah, that's the mark that's, of the devil. That's crazy. That's <laughs> no, crazy. no, no. This, no. How tall are you? Five six. Five six. How much you weigh? One thirty five. You're fast. All right. No, no, no. Uh, hold on, hold on. Is there any th- other thing about this guy that's weird? Um. Well, gosh, I don't know. I just. What's he do for a living? He works telecommunications. Mm-hmm. I mean, is it like an average day with you guys? It's all lovey-dovey, like, you know? No, 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 no. We just met, like, this weekend, like, oh. Memorial Day weekend, you know? Yeah, and it was more like just kind of, like, from met at the bar and then went back. Oh, and then, goodness. like, I I thought it was just going to be, like, a one-nighter thing. And all then right. he called me again, you know, and been back, like, twice. Since. Well, listen, this is probably a botched circumcision or something. Yeah. He's got some scar tissue he's a little freaked out about. Can you, but- can you do me a favor? Can you not have sex with him again until he lets you actually look at his unit and then call us back. Make sure it's yeah, attached. To, it needs to be yeah. attached to the body. Yeah, right. that's what yeah, you're thinking. I, I, I asked my brother about this, and he said, "Well, maybe he's not circumcised, and he's embarrassed about." No, that. no, he's no. Like, this is something. He's 25. Much... He's old enough to have gotten over that by now. Yes, you know? yes, ma'am. I, I, this is I, I, this is I way outside the range. Here's what of I'm going to say. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say he has a very small penis, mm-hmm. and he's using like something wrapped stuck it on with that. duct tape. Yeah. No, I'm serious, like a strap on or something. Interesting. I remember. I remember the day my sister came to me and said, "I'm, I'm dating this." dude I picked up a couple days ago at a bar, <laughs> yeah. sports bar, 
He's got a huge dork. I mean, girth and length. And he's a fan of the ass play. I've been begging to blow him. What do you think's up, little brother? And What's what did up? you say? What did you say? Come on, let's get back into Sunday school because you <laughs> go down gambling. No. Yeah, I like a nice rusty load, like between the eyes. But this guy won't do it. You know the endometriosis we've been talking about. A lot of blood coming yeah. from the bad but, I, but he's cool. He's cool. I let him hit it a couple times in the dark. You know. Whatever. Yeah. Now what do you think? <laughs> what, what is that? Throw a pinky at his ass. Or what, is he cool? What, think of that conversation. Brother, like, brother. My, my brother my says brother, he is. Yeah. A, uh, this is well, why. when my brother was boning me, he said, uh, "Don't let him get you uh, like I do." Sis. That's why. That's why uh, I keep the cyanide ta no. capsule. Oh, just, yeah. My mom starts saying, um, uh, "I'm having some itching," and I just uh, bite down. I, know. I bite down. I just collapse. My head I falls right in the girls, soup. I never meet girls like that. I never meet girls like that. Well, that watch. Like what? No, they talk to their brothers I, I about their porn stars, everything. It's like I always get that. I'm gonna quit in six months. You're different. Oh. I swear to you. Oh. This is. I've never felt what I'm thinking. You've you got to be careful with what attracts you. Be careful, <sighs> Dag. You know you're. A Can't I dabble oh. in the dangerous girls? Yeah, dabbling is fine. Can't but you're, I look? You're camping out, dude. You're camping out there. I am. I that's am. Your, that's but, your you know, home base. Well, and Dag, I'm, uh, you're I'm big a big star. You're a big star too. You could get someone pregnant. Somebody no, get stalkers. Condom on right now. Oh no! Good. I love the condoms. All right, I love the condoms. I do. You got to be careful. Well, Go Maxim Trojan. Trojan. No, I, I use the uh, what are they called? Minis. Uh, um, Crown Royal sack. No, no, I use Saran Big Ram? Boy. Big Boys. Big Boy Maxims. Smart. Maxims, those, yeah, and yeah, that's what I use. Smart. Very comfortable. Use those. Rebecca. Comfortable. Yeah. What's up? Magnums. 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 Yeah, Magnums. Yeah, Magnums. What's up there, uh, Rebecca? Yeah, I'm just calling because I go to North Hollywood High. Yeah. And it sucks ass. Yeah, it's my alma mater. <laughs> I told you it sucked, Drew. I love girls who say it sucks but, ass. But, mm -hmm. but the reason is it's not the teachers because they do really try. It's mm -hmm. the administration and their form of discipline. Mm -hmm. What do they do to you? When Adam was there, it was, the, it was actually the teachers when Adam was there. Do they paddle you kids, do they? Are what they, they do? Oh, yeah. Just, I mean, they, they dish out suspension like it's candy. Oh, baby. They're suspended. Cut her off. I yeah, don't I mean, talk to her. You try to blow a little reefer in the hall and they come down on you? No, and shooting just, dope and in the stalls. It's like it's really like dirty, and like the school used to be like top ten from what I heard. All right, well maybe you're bringing it down, baby. And don't. also, I just have to say, I had the same health teacher as you did at Walter Reed. Who'd you have? Miss Um Gallbladder, whatever her name was. Miss who? Miss Gallbladder. Well, who was your health teacher? I didn't have health in uh, Walter Reed. Whatever. You've talked about it. No, I had Miss Commissar at North Hollywood High. No, but Walter Reed Middle School, who was your health teacher? I didn't have health class. In the... Really? No. Oh. Um, and who were your teachers at Walter Reed? Oh, uh, I had newer ones. One All thing. right. <laughs> you know what I like? I like someone says, I had your health teacher at Walter Shut Reed. Shut up! Meanwhile, here's the deal. Rebecca is two and a half years out of junior high. Mm. I'm 30 years out of junior high, <laughs> and she can't remember her teacher's name. I dated a guy ago. that knows you. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, tall guy. Yeah. yeah, what's his name? He's got the blonde hair. Yeah, what's yeah. his name? Uh, Mark? Is he's it inside Mark? me now. I don't know. He what? won't let me see his unit. Give the phone to him. <laughs> <laughs> he won't talk. You have some interesting titles here on your uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Ich, well, you know. ich und er. Yeah, yeah, me and I, him. It's about a guy who has a talking. Came, um, came just after. I'm gonna get you, sucker. That's true. That was a that was a hit. Dag's man. done done wow. many many movies. Dag. I'm a Renaissance man, wow. baby. Dag, Dag, you have not stopped working since what year? I mean, uh, 1972. I was uh, replacement cast of Hey, What's Happening Again, <laughs> which is a very special hey, reunion again. with the part of the original cast of What's Happening. Still happening is what we wanted to call it, but the bastards that run the network wouldn't let us. But I digress. Let's heal some babies. Sarah. Hi. You're 23? Yeah. Yeah. Drew, Drew knows great radio. He picks up Dag's bio and just starts reading random names off it without All explaining right. what he's doing. Let's not play around because we have a little bit of time mm -hmm. and I want to heal some kids. Sarah, what's your right. problem, dear? Uh, I can never make myself come when I'm masturbating. Okay, listen to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want you to go to a bathroom or a shower right now. Mm -hmm. Tried it. How about the you, spigot? You've used the tub? Yes. Yeah, nothing. Do you have a dog? <laughs> no. Jacuzzi? Right. Do you have a shotgun? <laughs> Darn it. You you have to irrigate like you're growing rice down there. There you go. Are you doing using a lot of water? Oh yeah, I've tried it just about every situation. Nothing. Vibrator? Yes. 
Nothing. Mm-hmm. Does it feel good? Up and watch porno, you know. Mm-hmm. Does it feel good or no? Excuse me? Does it feel good? Oh, or? Yeah, I mean, I'm like almost there, but just mm-hmm. never. Are you on medication? Chill. No. You're not on medication. You have a boyfriend? Uh, not at the moment, but. How's oral that's, sex? That's great. Do you have an orgasm? Yes. You do? All right, so so there you, you go. You readily have one through oral sex. You just can't bring one on yourself. That's normal. Yeah, that's good times. Good. So yeah. We dated. Yeah, I mean, yeah. a lot of, a lot of yeah. Early 20s. 23? Yeah. yeah. It, it, it'll start right. coming a little. I've never been able to, though. Yeah, but it'll, it'll, a little later, the masturbation when you When work. your body falls away, yeah. and you're nothing yeah. but an empty shell of an old woman, you're going to be coming like a shot! That's right. That's something That's, to look forward to. Oh, yeah. You're going to be sitting on the bus. Whoop! Hit a bump. Ooh! <laughs> I right. just came bucket. <laughs> go around the corner again, bus driver. <laughs> I want to go down gambling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a little break. We're going to take a break, uh, and we'll be back uh, with Adam's Carriere, Yerry Loca. Hey, everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew, the great David Allen Greer. Dear, 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 dear. I'm going down gambling. In studio tonight, Life with Bonnie got Mm -hmm. uh, renewed, so you can look forward to that uh, coming up. And it's a new night, Friday, Friday 9.30. And when does it make the switch? I don't know, man. It's just crazy. People at the network do that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I got my specials running on Comedy Central, the the Book of David, the Cult Figures Manifesto. And uh, also uh, got the uh, new hot, uh, what is it, Hot Hollywood, new Young Hollywood? Young Hollywood Awards, uh, June 2nd. Where'd you do those? (laughs) We did them at the El Rey Theater, which Mm. is so unsuited to any kind of award show. Lots of uh, young, hot, uh, fresh tang Uh, running around there, right? It was beautiful. The young, the babies, the little peanuts, I call them. Yeah. We're growing next year's crop. Yeah. Somebody's got to do it. Yeah. You're going to be like Washington Carver with those peanuts. I'm going to be like, come here, let me look at you, baby. Stand in the light. Turn around. There you go. I want some questions. Yeah. All right. Let's save some babies. Brianna? Yes. You're 19? Yeah. What's up? Um, I just have a question about birth control in the morning after pill. Yep. If one can affect the other, because um, I'm on birth control right now. Why would you take the morning after pill if you're on birth control? Um, just to be safe. No, um, that's not just being safe. The birth control pill is as close to 100% safe as you can get. Okay. That You do not take morning after pill. That is for somebody who's not on contraceptives. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. There you go. Cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cat? Cat? She's Caller machine. goes by the name of Cat. Cat, your kitty. She, you can hear her. Listen, wait, listen. She's talking to somebody. Cat. Yeah, that's right. That's you, Cat29. Hello. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. Hey. Yeah. I have a friend who's trying to give herself an abortion with Penny Royalty. And I have little medical knowledge, and I have friends who do, and I asked somebody about it, and the person said if she took too much, she could actually die. What, what is Penny royalty? Penny royalty? Yeah. I don't know. It's supposed to be an herbal uh, medicine that will give you an abortion. It makes Why not you, just get an abortion? It makes you have a spontaneous abortion. Yeah, why doesn't she the take... the contents of your vagina yeah, well, Why doesn't she take the medicines that actually do that in a safe and predict- predictable way? I'll that's tell you what, what I think would be... Uh, you. Safe way to do it. I saw Mr. Deeds last night when I got <laughs> home on cable. That uh, you, I almost spontaneously aborted. Uh, the I original? The original? No. The, yeah, there remake. is oh, obviously yeah. RU46, which is an aborted pill. Mm-hmm. But is that something she she thinks she's like three months pregnant at this point? Yeah, and then there's also you know methotrexate, misoprostol. They can use a combo. But so what would her plan be to go to Planned Parenthood? Yeah. And ask these people, what to do? Go to Planned Parenthood. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what you should. I mean, Wouldn't that's that what your friend. That's reasonable right. Reasonable plan. It is really my friend. I yeah. Swear whatever. To God. Whatever. Whatever. Tell her to go to Planned Parenthood. Whatever. Yeah, any, have, okay. Or a gynecologist. I mean, any any yeah. place that you get a right. professional opinion. Why Why wouldn't she do that? Well, because she's really chicken. She doesn't know what to do. She's very young and kind of mm-hmm. silly. Well, there, there is there is another alternative herbal remedy. It's where an old Chinaman actually crawls Stop up so the vagina start, Adam, and uh, t- then tears the kid out. Into it and the whole thing. Okay, and just just go to Planned Couldn't she do Parenthood. something else, though, Adam? Couldn't mm-hmm. she go down gambling? Here's, here's Penny Royal in the dictionary. An aromatic American mint 
Oil used in folk medicine to drive away mosquitoes. <laughs> Good times. That'll do it. Yeah. Why don't you just drink a can of off? I think that'll do it. Wow. All right. Let's talk to uh, Mike, who's 24. Mike? Hello. What's up? I just want to say, Adam, happy birthday. Thank you, buddy. Dr. Drew, you're the band. Thanks, Mike. Um, David Allen Greer? Sir. You're my favorite guy who ever comes on this show. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, he's great. I love Thank you. Thank you very much. And I just want to let you know that I'm I'm like kind of like a movie buff. And yeah, your whatever. drama, yes. your drama that you performed on Blank Man, yes. where you're like, I'm going to call your mama. Yes. Best performance ever. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I was just hoping that you can... Um, that you can do your um, your cheer. I can't. Really. The cheer Guys, please time? remain seated. Wait, there was the one, two, three, four, five. See my yeah. finger, see my thumb. We got the ball, you better run. S O C K I T, sock it to me. Baby, my head is aching, my props are tight, my hips are shaking from left to right. One, two, three, four, five. Cash heck, don't take no job. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, baby, we go to win. That's a cheer, baby. That's that is cheer. it. That's Y'all won the about. game. Now you think you're hot, but we'll win the fight in the parking lot. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. That's it. That's you went, it. To, you went to Cass Tech. Cass Technical High School. Cass Technician, the mighty technician. That's the mission of my. You guys were the wow. technicians. The technicians. It sucked ass, Detroit. <laughs> sucked ass. Wow. Sucked buttholes. <laughs> Don't you don't you have to have an animal like like there was a Polly High School it was Polly Tech but it was they had a parrot I mean yeah, they were the parrot you, know? you have the technicians yeah, you have the technicians the technician is an some animal. guy with a, with a tool belt yeah yeah <laughs> we had the vocational and advocational <laughs> uh, wow like guys who did you know auto mechanics or the real nice, stupid guys. and what were you what were you studying I was in art oh really yes I was with the artists you were not yes I was commercial art. Oh. Did so you doing like graphic arts, arts, and, arts and, and stuff? Yes, I was lettering and all that stuff. You know, that's where all the cool hippie people were. Wow. That's what I wanted to do. So that wasn't a regular high school. It's, it was a very, very famous high school in Detroit at the time. Um, really great art program, but, uh, you know, the schools don't have any money now, so everything sucks. Yeah, and then... Uh Dag, how much do you contribute to the old high school? Nothing. They're bastards. That's they my man. Hell. We're going to college. Hey, Adam. Uh, University of Michigan. Michigan. Yale. Hail to the victors, valiant. Hail to the conquering heroes. Hail, hail to Michigan, the Shut leaders up. of the world. Hail. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. Adam. Yeah. You had a, you had a, um, a cheer yourself, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, mine's a, here, here we come a trucking in. Here we come a trucking in. <laughs> Bet you wonder where we've been. We're the team that can't be beat. Cause we're funky on our feet. Yeah, yeah Drew, where's your cheer, buddy? Do you know your high school uh, song? No. What about no. your college? you have a fight song? The Lord Jeff's over at Amherst? I, I'm a rapist. No. Drew, Drew, I'm a rapist. Drew, it's not the rapist song. <laughs> oh, That's another Lord song. Jeffrey Amherst was a soldier of the Queen. And he came from across the sea. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was it? Then Lord, it was, oh, Amherst, brave Amherst was the name known to fame in days of yore. May it ever be glorious till the sun should shine in heaven no more. Here you go. <laughs> you want to hear my Thanksgiving song? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Turkey sat on the backyard fence, <laughs> day on Thanksgiving day. And as he sat on the backyard fence, this is what he'd say. Oh, 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 gobble, 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 gobble. I don't like Thanksgiving day. Hey, 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 gobble, 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 gobble. I would like to run away. Hey. Go turkey, it's your birthday, stick your butt out. All right. I like a girl with a big butt, but fruit in the middle. It's juicy, it's sweet, Woo! it's fruit. And Are you playing middle. all my hits? <laughs> fruit in the middle, don't want no brown banana. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Next. Like a little plop here, a little ski there. <laughs> ski, 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 everywhere. You can get Dagaroni's famous tits on That's KTEL Records. Skeet. Skeet. Oh, you can get that. <laughs> 
gosh. Uh, you know what? I got my new porn video. Uh, the girls who like ejaculate. I like that. Oh, the squirter. You uh, like that? Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I'm a little perverted in my old age there. Really? I had not noticed. I I'm getting into Japanese rope uh, bondage. <laughs> I've been really... Uh, More videos? or No, I'm, I'm practicing. Doing I'm it tying, yourself? I'm tying, I'm tying hoes up, man. Really? Tying them up, Jack. They yeah. like it. They like a strong hand, brother. <laughs> what, what what network is your show on now? It's on Nickelodeon. Uh, it was on ABC <laughs> until about yeah. just a minute ago. Saying, uh, <laughs> Mickey didn't like that. Yeah. Mm. Tying hoes up. Nick? Okay. Yeah. What's up? You're 15. Yeah. Bogus. All right, basically. <laughs> Drew well, doesn't believe you already. Huh? You started with basically, which I'm is sorry. supposed to kiss of death. Well, happy birthday, uh, Adam. There Thanks, you go. buddy. Thank you for... All right. Yeah. He, said, he said three syllables, and Drew said bogus. Happy birthday. All right. I don't hear more. I more cheers. The show's over. <clears throat> Honestly, I think I know the birthday. North. I know the North to, Hollywood. Uh, or do you want to sing some more? Uh, I know the North Hollywood. Let's fight tears. Song. This is it. You can just do that for three minutes. Hold on. Yeah. I say we save some babies. How about that? How about getting your head out of your own rectum, Mister Show Off? Yeah, Mister Birthday right. Boy. Dang's Let's save right. some babies. Next caller. Thanks, right. What do you take like one. up there, Tank? Um, like? Let's see. Let's see. Let's take caller number. No. Mm -hmm. Let's take. Let's take caller number four. Four. Jennifer. Hi. You're 17. Yeah. You're only attracted to guys in relationships. Yes. And uh, because uh, you were raped in January. Mm-hmm. Who raped you? My uncle. Oh, your fantastic. uncle. And was this the first time you've been raped in your life? No. No. Yeah, but I was molested when I was 12. That's what I'm talking. How about. old is your uncle? Like 40 something. Long. I don't know. Really? And he he had sex with you? <clears throat> yeah. And uh, did you tell your parents? Yeah. And yeah. what did they do to your uncle? Um, well, he's in prison right now. Oh, oh that's wow. good. good that's wow. great. Nice. Before this? Wow. For, for raping you? Huh? He's in prison for raping you? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. good. okay, good. So you did the right thing. Yeah. So now you're only attracted to guys who are in relationships. Yeah, well, like, I don't know, like, now I seem to only be, like, that's all I seem to be attracted to. And all my boyfriend's friends and my ex-boyfriend's I know, but this friends. is it's just a way of not getting into a real relationship. Yeah. These guys are not available, so you can't be in a relationship, and so... But she started speaking backwards, too. Yeah, she was, she was like... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she was like, well, the only reason I'm a trans right <laughs> All right, Jennifer, that's all right. This is how you save yourself from a relationship. That's all. You're not ready to be intimate right now. That's fine. You're 17. You had a little trouble. You did the right thing with your uncle, a little therapy, and it'll all be over soon. We'll be back. Show everybody. A wonderful time. I want to thank the spectacular David Allen Greer for coming in here and uh, blessing the show with his presence. And always, um, always why don't you come back tomorrow? You guys. I'd love to come back tomorrow. I may have a little house guest. Never, <laughs> never stops putting out. Auntie may be in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Cousins coming over. Woo! Adam, he is freaking me out so badly. <laughs> hold the door open. Uh, I, 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 I hold the door. I'm getting back here. together with my ex, really. That's what All right. I'm just kidding. It was, so, it, it calls, I hope he, calls, I hope he does security. just for calls comedic security. value. Security. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, uh, Life with Bonnie. Everyone Life watch the show. With ABC. David. Switching over to 930 <laughs> on uh, Friday nights. And then, uh, of course, you got the uh, Young Hollywood Awards. I do. All and, the youngsters. Uh, Comedy Central special, I'm and uh, there, baby. you got uh, what else? You got crank anchors. The guy, the guy never stops working. I do not. I'm a hoe. So until next time, this is Adam Carolla for Doctor Drew saying David Allen Greer saying Makalaka Haney Haney like you who? It's Adam's birthday. <laughs> Goodbye to you. Yeah. Happy birthday, Adam Carolla day. Give oh. a <laughs> This has been Love Line. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Anne Engold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.